crab stuff flounder in an RV? Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how. Welcome back to the channel everybody, I'm Dan from Compass Roads and today we're going to do something completely different from any of our other videos. We're actually going to go ahead and try to cook a dinner here in the RV and actually film it. Don't know how it's going to show up, but uh, hey, let's give it a try. I've had a lot of requests for some of the recipes that I use in the RV and I thought, well, maybe we could actually uh, do some cooking videos and incorporate them into Compass Roads. That's what we're going to do. And uh, today's dinner is actually all because Kevin was hungry one day and he happened to be in the pantry and he happened to find this can of crab meat and said, Hmm, what can you do with this crab meat? So what I'm going to do is I am going to make some crab stuffed flounder in the RV propane oven and it's going to be sitting on a bed of instant pot white rice as well as I'm going to be grilling or sauteing, I should say, some green beans and carrots as an accompaniment for dinner. And so let's try it, see how it works out. I've never actually made this before, so this is a first time for me. But let me show you what I'm using as far as flounder. Fremont Fresh Market Flounder from Aldi. It's a package of about four or five in there. And I pulled out two big size flounders and I let them thaw in the refrigerator last night. They're not actually quite uh, thawed out yet so I am going to leave these on the counter they're individually wrapped so uh, they should get thaw enough for our recipe but for instant pot rice this is really simple uh, I've got my instant pot here I've got a trivet and I've got about one and a half cups of water in my bowl and this is unusual because most people like to just make their rice in the inner pot itself I actually prefer to use a separate bowl so it's uh, less cleanup I have one cup of white rice that I have rinsed twice so the water runs clear. I put in maybe a tablespoon of olive oil and I mix that all together. And then I've added some salt and one cup of water. So all I have to do is stick this into the Instant Pot. And I'm going to set this for four minutes on manual. And then I will let it release for 10 minutes after it's done. So that's it for rice. We'll come back to that later when it's done. And now let's get on to the flounder. All right, so here are the ingredients that we're gonna be using for our crab stuff flounder. And I will be putting these on the screen so you can actually get the, the actual measurements for them. But we are going to use two filet of flounders we're gonna use a quarter cup of mayo. However, we're actually gonna use Miracle Whip. Let me explain why we're using Miracle Whip today. We normally use mayo, but sometimes we like Miracle Whip because we have an RV refrigerator and it's so small, we only keep one open at a time. So today, we're gonna to use Miracle Whip. Aside from that, we're gonna use one egg. We've got one can of crab meat. We've got some Old Bay seasoning, and we've got salt and pepper, paprika, and some parsley flakes that we're gonna use. You also need breadcrumbs. We've got one lemon and four tablespoons of butter. All right, so the first step we're gonna do is go, to, go ahead and mix the mayo 
one quarter cup of mayo. We've got the salt, the pepper to taste. I've added some teaspoon of uh, parsley flakes and a teaspoon of Old Bay, Bay seasoning. Again, I don't necessarily use measurement teaspoons. I just go by a rough shake. And I'm mixing this all in. At the same time, I'm gonna head, have my oven preheated at 350 degrees. All right, I'm gonna set that aside. I am gonna take another small bowl. I am gonna go ahead and take my crab meat. I'm also going to rinse it and dry it out. Put that in there. Okay, so in the first bowl, we added one quarter cup of the Miracle Whip or mayo, whichever you have. We also included the one egg and the different seasonings. So in the second bowl, I've gone ahead and drained out the crab meat. We use canned if you, obviously, if you've got fresh crab meat available to you, that's probably gonna make it taste a lot better. And of course, we've got our two flounder fillets that we're gonna be using. So the next thing I'm gonna do after I've already mixed the egg, mayo, as spice combo a little bit. I'm gonna take in half a cup of breadcrumbs, pour that into the can of crab meat. You see how accurate I am for that. And then I am going to stir those together. This is where we're going to be adding the juice of one half lemon. Now save the other half because we're gonna be using that for the lemon butter. Once the crab meat and the breadcrumbs are incorporated well enough, we can add that into the egg mixture. Okay, so I've incorporated the breadcrumbs, the crab meat to the egg mixture with the mayo. I'm gonna go ahead and take one lemon. I'm gonna cut this in half. And then we're gonna use the juice of one lemon. Put that in here. Make sure you don't get any seeds in there. And mix that up. And that is gonna be our crab meat mixture. Now let's go ahead, stuff the flounder. Okay, now that we got our mixture done, we're gonna go ahead, prepare the flounder. The first thing we're going to do is get our lemon butter made. So we're going to take our four tablespoons of butter. We're going to melt that in the microwave. So I melted the butter and now I'm added the other half of the lemon, squeezing it carefully not to get any seeds in there. Might add some parsley flakes to it. Now before we stuff the flounder, we're actually gonna take a nine by nine glass pan. We're gonna spray it on the bottom so it doesn't stick. And we're simply gonna take our mixture, put a good amount on each one. And we're going to roll it up. Mm -hmm. 
Make sure when you put these, you put these seam side down so they don't pop up during cooking. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and spread some of this lemon butter onto the flounder. That looks good. Now if you notice I still have some lemon butter remaining. We're going to keep that for the vegetables. And I also have some of this crab mixture. Well, obviously we're not gonna throw that away. So we're just gonna put a little bit, divvy this up half and half, and put it on top. Because who doesn't like crab, right? Now that I got this ready, I'm actually going to garnish it with a little bit of paprika for some color. And we're gonna stick this in the oven at 350 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so while the fish is cooking in the oven, I've got my green beans and my carrots that I've already washed and rinsed and I'm going to go ahead and saute these on the frying pan. And I did add a little bit of garlic into the lemon butter and I've kept my parsley garlic salt and my parsley flakes out. And we've also opened up a nice bottle of wine. It's a Chardonnay by Chateau Saint Michel and uh, we're going to enjoy that with our meal. Salute. So, this is what's for dinner today. It is crab stuffed flounder. We've got some sauteed green beans and carrots, and this is all on a bed of rice. Let's taste it. This tastes very good, very lemony. One thing I probably would do is maybe broil this if I had a tra traditional oven. Broil it uh, for about two minutes to give it a little crust on top. But otherwise, taste-wise, it's delicious. Green beans. Delicious. Yeah, if I had fresher products, this probably would have turned out a little bit better. But as far as just using canned stuff, things that RVers probably would have in their pantry, this is excellent. It's light, it's fresh, and it's healthy-ish. And it's all made in the RV, simple. So anyways, this is the first cooking video I've actually done for in the RV and uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, consider subscribing to our channel. Check out our other videos we've got regarding the RV. And if you wanna be notified the next time another great video comes out, go ahead, hit that notification bell icon. Mm -hmm. So good. So until next time, where will the road take you? Life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights 